guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Debbie, and if you are not subscribed, click that button down below and subscribe. So today's video is super exciting because I found a dupe for the ABH Riviera palette, you guys. I don't own that palette, but I found this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Constellation palette, and you guys, just look at this. Oh, look at this. Tell me you don't see Riviera palette all over this. Like, you know you do. So, if you guys wanna see how I got this look, how these shadows work, and my thoughts, then just keep on watching. All right guys, I'm super excited to get this video started because I think I found a dupe for the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Riviera palette, and I'm super excited. I love Anastasia of Beverly Hills palettes. I love the formula of the shadows and I love the brand itself. I own about six or seven of her palettes and I love all of them in their own special way. And I have to say that I've used two of those palettes to like, you know, till I hit pan. Like I've never hit pan on a, on a palette before and I can't believe like I would use that pa those two palettes specifically. The, the Soft Glam and the Modern Renaissance palette. Those were like my go-to every single day and I hit pan on both those palettes. So I definitely got my money's worth on those two. Um, but once I saw the Riviera palette, I was like, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Like you can't say it's not, but it's not ideal for me. I don't know about everybody else. Yes, I would love to buy it, but it's really not worth for me to buy a palette that I'm not really gonna use. So I was really excited to see on the Ulta website that Makeup Revolution came out with two brand new palettes. I was able to buy you know, a palette and then get the other one half off. So this palette right here was $15. It's the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Constellation Palette. So look at this, this is so pretty, the packaging. It has a large mirror, which is really nice. And these are the shadows. Like, are we not getting Riviera, Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera vibes? Like, right? Am I crazy? No. Mm-mm. So, I mean, I'm not mad at you, um, Makeup Revolution. I really appreciate it because I love the colors in that palette, but I can't spend $42 on a palette that's just probably gonna sit there and I'm gonna use it once and that's it. But I was happy to see that you guys came out with a very, you know, like a dupe for the palette. So I'm really excited to try it out. So I'm just gonna start. I obviously, as you can see, I filled in my brows and I primed my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre, blah, blah, the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And we're just gonna get started. So I'm going to grab this brush right here. This is the JH32 brush. And I'm gonna go in with Asteroid, which is this shade right here and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid sadly I don't own the Riviera palette so I can't do like a side-by-side -side, but I mean I'm not buying the palette just to do a side-by-side -side. I would love to but I just I don't know, I really have faith in Makeup Revolution <laughs> in this palette that it's just gonna be an amazing palette all right, so I'm going to grab this JH40 brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, Jupiter. And I'm just going to apply that on the crease as our transition shade. All right, so for that first shadow, it's very pigmented and it's very easy to blend, so that's really, really good. Now I'm going to grab this M507 brush from Morphe, and I'm gonna go in with this shade called Cosmic, which is this purple, and I'm just going to apply that on the outer V. You definitely have to build this shade up a little bit, but once you build it up, it's very, very nice. All right, so as you can see, there's definitely fallout, which is normal, and there is some pickup in the shadows, but that's okay. I'm really not, you know, 
worried about that. I just want to see how well the shadow performs and, you know, blends. So I'm going to try to use as many shadows as I can from this palette. Um, I'm going to go in with blue now. I'm just going to clean this brush. And I'm going to grab this blue because there's two blues. There's this one that's a little bit more of like a cobalt blue. So this one's called Neptune and this one's more of a darker blue, like a navy, not navy, yeah, like a navy blue. So I'm going to grab the cobalt blue that's called Neptune. And I'm just going to apply this shade right next to Cosmic. All right, so I have to say already, like it's not, it's patchy and it's not so great. So I just have to work with it and blend it out. I'm gonna grab this Anastasia of Beverly Hills brush and see if the this brush on this side works better when I use this shade. And then blend it out with the other side of the brush. All right, so that shade is a tad bit patchy, actually very patchy. Um, I'm gonna go back into Cosmic and see if I could just blend that and fix it up a little bit. All right, so that's what we have so far. I was kind of able to fix it up a little bit. It just looks blended out um, and less patchy. But now I'm just gonna grab that same ABH brush and just apply that shade in the same area on the other side of the eye. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into Cosmic with that Morphe M507 brush. Just blend out those two together so it doesn't look patchy and it doesn't look harsh and it just looks nice, soft, blended. I'm gonna go in with this shade here from the palette. I'm gonna grab this 242 brush and I'm going to go in with Saturn, which is this beautiful shade here. It feels super creamy on the brush. I'm going to apply that right next to it, so right here in the center of the eyelid. All right, so that's not that bad. It applies nicely. It feels a little bit chunky, but it blends out nicely and it's it looks really pretty. It's so pigmented, look at that. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm just gonna go with the blue again. Just blend that out. I feel like it still looks super patchy on that side. This side is not so bad. It's just this side. I'm trying to fix it because it's bothering me. All right, so now I'm gonna grab this flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna grab this shade right here. It, it's more of a golden shade than a yellow shade, but we're just gonna apply that on the inner corner right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Because I know the Anastasia palette, it's more of a yellow, but this is more of like a golden yellow. But it's still super, super pretty. I'm just gonna go over that blue again, right there, blend those two out. I'm gonna grab this Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to blend out that transition shade that we went in with and then just blend all this together in the crease. I'm gonna grab this shade right here, Celestial, and this BH Cosmetics brush and just apply this on the brow bone as a highlight. That shadow is gorgeous. It's a nice frosty shade. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there. I am going to apply some lashes and remove whatever fallout is on my face and then I'll be back. 
All right, so I'm back. As you can see, I finished applying my lashes. I used the Kiss Number no. 11 lashes, and I also applied a little bit of eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D, what is this? Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Trooper. And now I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm gonna grab this one right here. This is the Master Prime Primer. This is the Blur and Redness Control. I'm also gonna grab this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and apply this in my pores area. Now I'm gonna grab this foundation from Maybelline. This is the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation with Hydrating Serum in the shade 75 Natural Beige. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Damp Sponge to apply it all over the face. Now I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Candid Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And I'm also gonna grab my Real Technique sponge to blend out the concealer. Now I'm gonna cream contour. I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick in the shade 334. I'm gonna grab this Kenzie brush right here that I purchased from TJ Maxx. It's part of a brush set. And I'm just going to blend out the foundation. All right, now that I'm done with the brush, I'm gonna grab my Real Technique sponge and just go all over those areas. Now I'm gonna go in with my RCMA powder and this e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm just going to set the under eye, the chin, and the forehead. Now I'm gonna grab my Real Technique sponge and that RCMA powder, and I'm just going to clean this up right here and bake. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna go in with my LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette, and I'm also gonna grab this angled brush from that Kenzie set that I was talking about. And I'm going to grab these two shades from the palette and just go over that contour and set it. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This is also part of that Kenzie brush set. And I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. I'm gonna grab these two shades in the middle right here, mix them together, and apply that onto the cheeks. And go back. Apply a little bit on the nose, and that's that. From this same palette, I'm gonna grab the highlight shade, which is this one right here. But before I go in with that, I'm gonna grab some of my spray. I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. And apply that right here on the high points of the cheek. This actually goes really well with the highlight on the brow bone. Looks really nice. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab this e.l.f. blush brush and just wipe off that bakage. All right, so jumping right back into that palette, I'm gonna grab this shade right here. It's called Dimension. And I'm just going to apply that on the lower lash line. All 
I'm also going to grab a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Spiral. And I'm using that same brush. This is the pencil E30. I don't know if I mentioned that. That's what I used on the lower lash line. But I'm going to go on with that brush and apply that shade right here onto the inner corner. And I'm also going to grab a little bit of Fractal with that same brush and apply that right over Spiral. All right, so now for lips, I'm gonna grab this lip liner right here. This is from Rimmel, and this is in the shade Spice. And I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from L'Oreal. This one is in the shade All Out Pout. And this lipstick has gone through hell. I feel so bad it's broken, but I'm trying to hold on to it. This lipstick is so good. I'm going to go in with this lip gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And now to finish off the look, I'm going to spray my e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. All right, guys, so this is the final look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun with this palette. I only had one issue, and that was with the shade... Neptune, which is this one right here, but at the end it all worked out perfectly fine I was able to blend it out with all the other shades and um, The only issue was that it was a little bit patchy But again, like I said, I was able to blend it out and it worked perfectly fine all the other shades didn't give me an issue they blended really nicely they applied over each other beautifully and they were really easy to work with so I have to say that for me I am happy that I was able to find a dupe for the Riviera palette which is this one right here and it's super affordable and like I said I was able to purchase another palette for half off which is their other new palette that came out so keep a look out for a video on that palette um, that palette is I can't even remember it's something like about love I can't even remember at the second but it is also very beautiful but back to this palette right here I love it definitely pick it up if you are looking for a dupe to the Riviera palette and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe of course if you haven't yet and I will see you guys on the next one bye